Good morning and welcome to the BBA's webinar on customer experience, how banks can do better, delivered in partnership with BBA associate members, Spitch. Today, to discuss customer experience, how banks can do better, I'm delighted to be joined this hour by Martin, Tripti and Badham from Speech Analytics. Just before I hand over to Martin, I'd like to invite you to participate in this webinar by asking questions. If you do have a question for the presenters, you can ask a question at any time simply by clicking on the Ask a Question button on your screen, which is located underneath the presentation. Please note that when you ask a question, your name and your organization is not disclosed to any other webinar attendees. Second of all, we would also like to invite you to participate in Ask the Audience polls. To participate in the polls, a pop-up box will appear with a question on the screen. Simply answer the question in the box and click OK to um, flatten the pop-up um, that appears. We intend to present for 40 minutes and then answer your questions for the remaining 20 minutes. Martin, over to you. Thank you very much, Phil. At the, at the beginning uh, of this webinar, please let me introduce our speakers, apart from Phil, who kindly introduced uh, himself and open his, uh, this webinar. My name is Martin, and I will start with an introduction of speech analytics and voice biometrics within the customer experience management. Next speaker will be Vadim, our product director, who will walk us through the Vision 2020, technology that is available nowadays, and also the product and technology roadmap up to 2020. And then Tripti, our experienced senior consultant, will share with us her extensive knowledge and hands-on experience with speech analytics and voice biometrics within customer experience management, and will present and explain use cases and functionality that is helping those who are using it to gain additional business and competitive advantage. We plan to allow allow 15, 10, uh, 10 or 15 minutes for the question and answer session at the end of this webinar. And now a few words about housekeeping. We will be happy to answer any question either during the presentation flow or in the question and answer session that is scheduled at the end of this webinar or offline. Our contact details are in this slide deck, and as far as we understand, this presentation deck will be shared with you by BBA later on. A voice user interface makes human interaction with computer possible through a voice speech platform in order to initiate an automated service or process. As you can see, the use and importance, and importance of voice user interface is growing rapidly. Automated computer-based speech analytics and voice biometrics is an enable of the voice user interface, and speech is rising as a global player with a growing share of the globally growing market. As an example from the current slide, 300 times growth in voice internet search queries in the last five years. The role of speech analytics in financial services is playing an increasingly important role in customer experience management, fraud detection, quality and regulatory requirements management, and can deliver significant return on investment and NPS improvements. We would like to show you a video where you will see an example of use of speech analytics. This video will depict the use of an intelligent IVR and LVCSR speech to text functionality. Hello, thank you for calling Cloud Tech. How can I help you today? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's about bloody time. I'm trying to set up my new device. It's just not connecting, and I'm snookered. Snookered? I'm very sorry, sir, but I'm not following you. I'm snookered. I can't get it working. I only bought this last week. It's just not cricket. 
Sir, are we talking about snooker or cricket? Both. I mean, neither. I mean, we're talking about my smartphone. It's simply not par for the course. Par for the course? Is that snooker or cricket? It's golf. Blimey. Isn't there anyone who knows the score? The score. Which sport? Hello? Hello? Hello. Thank you for calling CloudTel. Please describe in a few words the reason you are calling. Yes, well, I'm trying to set up a new device. It's just not connecting, and I'm bloody snookered. Okay. Please provide some details about your problem. Well, I only bought this new smartphone last week, and I can't connect to 4G. Okay. Please state the make and model of your smartphone. It's a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. We have sent you an SMS with correct settings to access the internet. Please accept the settings straight away. Right ho, I just pressed accept. Your problem should now be fixed. Can we help you with anything else today? No, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for this. It used to be that uh, the video was uh, starting again. But on this slide, you can see the forecast of the voice and speech recognition technology revenue. As you can see, the increase is predicted to be more than 20% 20 20 on a year-on-year basis, mainly in the North America, Europe, and the Asia-Pacific geographical areas. And this slide is talking about our and the market's experience with regards uh, to importance when considered and implemented speech analytics. I will mention just a few of the points uh, on this slide. Real-time technology and solutions. Only few technologies and solutions are able to work off online. Offline technology is unable to provide this immediate response and processing and analytics and provide this lower operational and strategic value. Lower or low total cost of ownership and flexible pricing models. It was perceived in the past that speech analytics is expensive and provides its low accuracy and is difficult to deploy for operational use. Nowadays, the most advanced providers provide this user-friendly, means low price, and client-friendly pricing models. For example, revenue share or profit share or cloud-based software as a service. Step-by-step -step approach. It is advised not to start with large, full-scope, all-in-one implementation, but rather select properly defined and scope quick wins and implement these in a controlled and efficient manner. Then, once successfully implemented, the scope can be increased. High accuracy in output. This is, in our opinion, a must. Otherwise, the solution will not provide this expected business value and will likely decrease the customer experience and increase costs. Development and implementation of best folk solution addressing the client's business needs. There isn't out-of-the-shelf solution that will provide this high accuracy in combination with requested functionality. In majority of the cases, it was proven that only tailored solution based on client requirements in combination with high accuracy technology will provide with expected functionality and operational results. And that took us to the poll question number one, which we would like to ask you to kindly read and provide with your response. Okay, so the first question will um, pop up on your screen. Um, as Martin said, which of the following triggered your interest to attend this webinar today? And the options are available to you. You can check one or more than one if you want to. wait for a few more people to answer that. <coughs> Martin? 
lost in value, what, what do you think? That um, 25%, 37, 37 and a half percent said customer experience improvement, 25 said voice biometrics, is that what you're seeing in the market currently? I think it's very close what we're seeing in the market, even though the voice biometrics is uh, starting up. It's uh, being used more and more, but clearly the customer experience improvement and uh, customer satisfaction uh, management, that's the most important uh, in eyes of our clients, and that's something we are using uh, the most. Okay, fantastic. Okay. And at this stage, I would like to introduce the next speaker, Vadim, who will talk about Vision 2020. And, hello, what I'm talking about today are speech analytics technology trends. Let's try to look at them from the perspective of the future call center, call center 2020. The most direct view of the call center in 2020 is that in 2020 there will no call centers in today's understanding, of course. All customers' interactions will become omni-channel indeed. All questions will be communicated via any channel in a suitable way. There will not be any difference for the customer to interact with their bank either via phone or mobile application or via social networks. In vast majority of cases, the customer will interact with the machine. All the technologies we need for uh, this are exclusively growing now. There are namely speech analytics, chatbot, and speech synthesis. Let's try to explore one of them, speech analytics. Uh, there are three basic speech analytics technologies we need to build the call center 2020. Uh, it's speech recognition, semantic and sentiment interpretation, and voice biometrics. Speech recognition produces text from human speech and helps us to answer the question around what is said. Uh, semantic interpretation predicts semantic text and helps the machine to understand the meaning of the question. These technologies uh, can help be used for sentiment analysis, answering questions around how your customer feels about your services. Voice biometrics allow enrolling client's voice print and matching the next call to the voice print story, this helps us to answer the question around who is speaking. Imagine that we are developing a natural language auto-answering solution for a bank. Semantic interpretation behind the IVR predicts the topic of customer's call. Using keyword spotting and speech recognition, uh, the details about customer reason for calling can be identified. And speaker verification proves customer identity before altering the transaction or access to the information. This, of course, is not enough for call center 2020. And no one can predict what innovations will be discovered in the future. But we can try to imagine how it will uh, be for the call center uh, industry. They said, uh, the first driverless car will be allowed on Britain's motorways next year. The first trials are expected to be carried out on the roads in Bristol and Coventry right this year. All motorways in the UK will be allowed to have driverless car from 2020. If we foresee vehicles without drivers on road, why we not assume uh, we can have call centers without agents? We can deliver more solutions uh, needed for this from the area of speech analytics uh, area right now. There are high accuracy speech recognition, semantic interpretation, sentiment analysis, and speaker verification. On the other hand, chatbot technologies are coming into real enterprise businesses. IBM invested one billion into Watson in 2014. Microsoft launched bot framework uh, this March. They declare that chatbot technology is going to replace internet search engine in a couple of years. Finally, text-to-speech synthesis is also being improved, and it seems to be uh, on the verge where a synthesis, synthesis voice will gain emotions. Finally, let's figure out uh, when we should start implementing human-machine interaction in real business process. 
should we really wait for a chatbot breakthrough and speech to text to speech improvement? For starters, we can use it right now in a simple cases, uh, as we uh, have seen in the funny video. For example, it is feasible for machine to recognize simple questions about, you know, account balance or last transactions, uh, and then inform the customer by sending a text to their mobile. It's uh, another example. It's annoying for customer to wait three minutes because all agents are busy. Instead, calls can be steered to the call, uh, call to the machine. It is really not affect the customer experience negatively. This concludes my speech. Hope uh, it will help you paint a picture of the near future. Thank you. Okay, second call question. Um, so it's going to be up on the screen shortly. And um, it's which of the following would be the most important to you when considering a speech analytic solution? Which of the following would be the most important to you when considering a speech analytic solution? Valerie Martin to tree, um, 58, just over 58 percent said systems output accuracy is, is, is the most important. And you know, does that align with what you're seeing in FS? I think it's very true because what was perceived in the past was the speech analytics and the solutions related to uh, using speech analytics are inaccurate. So the uh, business enterprise use was very limited. And it often made people annoyed because they invested, they invested uh, quite a lot of into licenses or implementation and the red out was not always what they expected. So really the system uh, of outlook accuracy is uh, very crucial. And uh, nowadays the technologies uh, are, and we see it on other cases uh, when they are implementing it, they can reach up to 90% or even more uh, in some cases when uh, the speech analytics is implemented in tailored and bespoke uh, way. But also, 25% um, saying time taken for deployment as well is, is an issue as well. That's very true. Uh, a lo lot of companies are uh, saying that there is out of the shelf, a shelf solution, but in fact uh, there isn't, because the clients are different, the businesses are different, the use cases are different, and uh, the combination of universal solution uh, with low accuracy uh, led to long implementation uh, times and delays uh, in the implementation project, which is now mitigated by the fact that uh, there are several solutions straight to the point uh, with a very well-defined and exact functionality in combination with high accuracy. So yeah, the time taken for deployment is also uh, being reduced. But there's an issue, isn't there? There's a cost-benefit of analysis, isn't there? And you, you, one can't afford to get this wrong, implementing a large-scale solution which is very, very expensive, or potentially very expensive. So you know, there's regulatory requirements. There's also customer experience which has to be upheld as well, as well as you know, a return on, on investment. Um, pretty, uh, and it had to be addressed quite soon. How does, how does, a, how does a, a regulated firm address those issues? What, what we see in the market, and uh, let, let me answer this question a little bit from the side, it's important to define uh, the scope from the beginning and uh, to manage in a step-by-step approach. So to pick up uh, small pieces of functionality, then implementing, implementing the C steadily uh, improving uh, and extending the solution. And in terms of supporting the regulatory requirements, there are a lot of use cases uh, where the speech analytics uh, within the customer experience management is helping to support and uh, manage uh, the regulatory requirements. Like, for example, quality assurance, uh, customer experience management from the regulatory perspective uh, and a lot of other use cases. We have already uh, on the screen the list of most, most popular use cases and I think we can uh, start talking about them uh, and answering your question going through the use cases. Okay.
and particularly over to you. The uses and applications of speech analytics and associated technologies are not definite and can be de designed to one's specific needs. The most standout quality about these solutions is their capability to be tailor-made and personalized. What I will share with you today are some high-level use cases that directly influence a daily workflow and improve customer experience by making processes efficient, specifically within the financial services industry. May I start by going on to the first one, which is voice biometrics and speaker verification. This is a solution where the caller is identified by his voice when speaking to a representative in a call center. The voice print for the customer must be matched with the saved voice print on file. This saves the customer hassle of remembering passwords, makes the interaction quicker, and also identifies the customer automatically while he's discussing his query. The workflow is smooth and the conversation is personalized. Has great benefits within cost savings and efficiency, and improves the customer experience greatly. The next one that I would like to talk about is NPS measurement and improvement. NPS, Net Promoter Score, is a quantitative measure that gives an indication about customer satisfaction within an organization. Using speech analytics, there is useful value addition to this score where the customer can leave verbatim comments about their experience while he's on the call. These can then be analyzed to give an indication around the main drivers for customer satisfaction or customer dissatisfaction. It also allows every conversation to be listened to and analyzed, thus painting a 360-degree view of the customer's perception and their experience. Customer satisfaction improvement. This dwells on the customer's emotions to be captured and analyzed, thus being associated with an NPS score. So not only do we talk about their actual verbatim comments, but we can also dwell on the emotion of, on the call, the tone of their voice, the tempo of the conversation, the pitch of the conversation. All of these acoustic features are measured and scored thus giving an in-depth view of the customer's sentiment. May I please remind you to continue sending all of your questions and answers for us such that we can discuss them in detail at the end of the session. Okay, let's go on to part two of the case studies and four management. We spoke a little bit about fraud management while we were discussing voice biometrics, which is a sort of substream of voice biometrics where we can identify people calling on other people's behalf with a blacklist stored within the system. This allows the system to then flag to the specific person whether the customer that is calling is a fraudster or is a genuine person on the call. Within banking, I can see the massive benefits that this would have on everyday solutions. The next one I want to talk about is service usability and automation. This, talk, this application is around how a customer interaction can be automated with the help of voice recognition technologies. What it says is that it allows data capture to happen automatically while the customer is giving details. Thanks for calling, Mr. Smith. Could I please take the first line and the, la and the postcode for your address while we're on this call? Not only would the agent use the customer speaking to identify him, but the CRM system using voice technologies will also capture Mr. Smith's address right there and then on the call. That uh, has a profound influence on call duration and also a positive effect on the accuracy of data capture and how that is retained within a CRM system. The next one that I'd like to talk about is voice banking. 
As we all know today, smartphones are a way of life for a large proportion of us. There's always a need to refine processes to such a degree that there is least customer effort required. Such is the use of voice banking, where customers can instruct their banks to complete simple transactions using smartphones via voice while they're driving or they're shopping just using the mobile apps. Transfer a thousand pounds from my savings account. Could you pay for my gym classes? What's my balance at this hour? They're 100% secure as they use voice biometrics to identify the customer and only then proceed with the transaction. Just like most banking apps today that use the fingerprint biometrics, voice biometrics allows you to use your voice to identify you and proceed with transactions. Thank you. This concludes part of my presentation. And this, this use case, uh, it's an interesting one, and we picked up this one uh, to show you what is, uh, how we are developing uh, and what is the stage of development of uh, speech analytics uh, within a different use case, a personal online agent coaching. This use case represents another example of successful implementation of speech analytics in the customer experience management area. Qualtrack. Our partner and UK-based international software solution provider, in cooperation with, uh, with us, developed a unique quality management and contact center again agent coaching solution. The functionality is focused on identification of well or bad performing agents, their gaps, and area for improvement, and provides with end-to-end -end quality management, coaching, assessment, and delivery. And the functionality and business benefits are described in the next slide. At this occasion, we don't want to go into the functional details, but we are happy to announce that this solution is now available for deployment. And for those who will be interested and uh, would like to participate uh, and participate in this webinar, this solution can be offered as a trial. It's a unique solution, and this is basically a global uh, introduction uh, of this use case. So we've got a few questions that have come in um, as a result, and um, one of them, one of them, I think, is a, is a very telling and a very important question. Um, with retail banking um, in the um, descendancy or decline, is um, speech analytics a, a way forward? Would you say? I I would say or. <laughs> But what we already see, the retail banking is uh, now uh, in the space of developing very rapidly in various areas. Mm -hmm. Some banks are going completely digital, some banks, the banks are based on digital uh, platform only. Some are restructuring. Uh, what, is, what is inevitable and what is happening uh, as of now that uh, the speech analytics uh, is being heavily introduced and more and more used uh, in order to not just decrease the, decrease the cost, but also to increase the customer experience management, the compliance uh, with the regulatory requirements, and tackle various operational points that were uh, earlier managed by humans, but more and more are now uh, managed in an automated way. Okay. Uh, another question that's just come in. Have you looked at complaint data originating from the use of voice biometrics? And if so, what have you and your clients learned from it? So have you looked at complaint data originating from the use of false biometrics? And if so, what have you and your clients learned from it? What, 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 what we can see as we are implementing voice biometrics is that uh, there are a few points uh, to take uh, into account. Uh, there are some elements that are rela related to the privacy uh, and security of the data. 
There are some aspects related to the operational use, and there are some aspects related to the uh, compliance management. We do have few use cases, and we are working closely uh, to tackle the PSSDS VSI compliance, uh, but they are not really uh, directly related to uh, the voice biometrics. On the other hand, uh, it depends also how the voice biometrics is deployed, because the most important from uh, the data protection and the compliance uh, point of view, it's where you are storing the data. And usually, usually the clients are deciding that they will st still keep it uh, in-house instead of uh, having it implemented in cloud. And uh, they are usually reaching the required uh, level, uh, level of uh, compliance and uh, data protection uh, within the financial services industry. I don't know whether this uh, did answer the question. Well, um, then certainly we can take that, that person's question offline and we can address it in a bit more detail afterwards. Tip treat, if you want to. I just wanted to add that storing voice biometrics related data has the same sort of regulations associated with it like you would have for customers whose data you're storing in text format. It completely depends on what the regulations are, uh, what time frame they need to be saved for, et cetera, and et cetera. And the systems generally give the customers flexibility to make that decision to make the data completely secure within their premises or, you know, within cloud functionalities as available these days. So it is dependent on the organization and differs from customer to customer as to how they take steps to secure their data. Okay. Another question that we've got um, coming, um, we mentioned regulatory compliance as an advantage of technology. Would uh, you and the centers consider voice analytics systems compliant with the PSP2 requirements for strong customer authentication and secure communication? Okay, uh, uh, and, uh, So just to repeat that again, um, we're just addressing the PSP2 um, 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 question that came through. Again. And yeah, just, just repeat that, please. Yeah, yeah. As I understand, the main scope of the PSP2 is to encourage new player uh, to enter the payment market. And uh, it does this by mandating banks to open up uh, the bank account. Um, we also understand that uh, it helps uh, uh, some changes in security, uh, on, on requirement security of online payments and uh, account access. Uh, as I know, the technical specification is now finishing, and uh, we will see when they finish the technical specification. Uh, I think voice biometrics should be included in the strong qualification methods of uh, these requirements. Thank you. Um, and another question that's come through, how long does it take to retrieve data? Is, is, it, is it real time? Uh, yes, it's possible to uh, real time. Uh, the most of speech analytics solutions on the market uh, works uh, work in, in real time. But uh, the, um, uh, the real time, uh, the latency and the uh, computing resources uh, consuming is a trade-off between this and uh, accuracy. So uh, the, the most important thing is, is your real-time solution uh, reach high accuracy or not? So uh, many, many, many systems can run real-time but with not high accuracy. And uh, uh, you, you will choose uh, the system 
and taking into account both parameters, real time and accuracy. Interestingly, if I can add to this, because there's always discussion, or quite often discussion about uh, real time. But then it's a question behind what does it mean real time? Is it in the same second? Is it in a millisecond? Or is it in a minute? And then we are talking about speech analytics. Uh, normally, uh, what we consider real time is that uh, if we are speaking, uh, we need to finish the sentence, uh, including uh, commas and uh, dots uh, or full stops, in order to be able to get all the meaning uh, of what was said. So therefore, uh, in our opinion, uh, this question can be rephrased that high accuracy, uh, uh, real time means that when the speech is finished, whether it's a sentence or word or the whole uh, piece uh, of spoken word, uh, it needs to be also discussed uh, separately. On one of your videos, your YouTube videos, which I will definitely share and socialize with everybody on the call today, is um, a video whereby somebody um, is talking to their bank, engaging with their bank, and they're talking about their personal details, private details about accounts, um, because that person has lost their credit card, and they accidentally um, the, um, spill a cup of coffee, they leave their mobile phone, I think it's in the coffee shop, um, and, um, on the side, and they move away from their mobile phone, and it's picked up by a fraudster. Now, can that, um, and within that same conversation with that full sense of full handler, could that, um, is that, can that be picked up by voice biometrics now, and by speech analytics now? Absolutely. It is a perfect example of how the voice is used to identify the customer. As soon as the fraudster picks up that mobile and starts speaking on it, you can see that the machine feels something's wrong and signals to the handling agent that this is not the person we were speaking to it again. In order to make sure that the right person is given the right answer, the machine then uses a question to identify the caller. The voice is used, the caller isn't identified, and straight away the card is blocked. So that's a great example of how voice biometrics is accurate and voice technologies are used to identify a caller to the right degree. Technically speaking, the machine will need a few seconds in order to be absolutely sure that uh, the voice changed and it's uh, speaking somebody else. Usually it's uh, four to seven seconds until the machine is accurate will be able to uh, detect uh, the change and say it's a frost uh, or not. If I also add, it takes into account background noise. The solution is designed in such a way that irrespective of what the background noise is, the voice of the customer is primary when making that identification. Could be in a crowded bus, could be in a cafe, could be in a secure uh, office environment where there's silence, but it does take into the account all of the acoustic modeling as well. Nice. And, you know, what are the trends, what are the key trends in speech analytics um, for 2017 now. Obviously, we've come a long way in the last five years, as you mentioned, Martin. But are there any trends or um, um, uh, indications that we should be um, in financial services looking out for or being aware of next, next year and the, the year after? It's a very good question. It, it depends on size of the bank. It, it depends on uh, business, so the retail, wholesale, uh, investment uh, business. But what we can see uh, in terms of voice biometrics, it's more and more popular, it's more and more available, and more and more banks uh, are impl uh, implementing the voice biometrics and speaker verification, not just banks, but also in other industries where they have huge turnarounds uh, and uh, long, uh, large contact centers. In terms of other, other speech analytics, like very good examples, for example, Postcode Survey, which can be fully automated now. A lot of businesses, including banks, are struggling to get uh, insight from their uh, customers in terms of how they are doing, uh, what's the most trendy uh, in the market, what are the requirements, what is uh, good, what is bad. And there are various ways how you can get uh, the insight from the client, either uh, via web uh, questionnaires, or by mobile questionnaires, or somebody will stop you in the middle of the street and you ask you a few questions. But what uh, we got uh, based on the market, the experience we gained, that if the client will be able to leave uh, 
his or her opinion in free speech uh, through the communication channel he used, for example, a contact center. That will be the ideal way. And that's something uh, we can uh, implement easily. It's based in cloud. It doesn't require uh, any or uh, very little uh, implementation time and uh, integration with existing systems, and we can provide uh, with the results straight away. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's what we discussed earlier. It's better to start piece by piece with small and manage manageable tasks than to try to implement everything in one. Yeah. We also see a big trend in using speech analytics for regulatory requirements. Um, you know, in a lot of cases when you call an insurance company, there are certain statements that people have to read back to you as a regulatory requirement. Yeah. Speech analytics can actually tap into that to identify whether the sentence was said, the regulatory sentence was read out correctly, or whether the sentence was not read out correctly. And we understand that, you know, lots of financial institutions we see it in the news daily, there's lots of fines and lots of penalties levied if you don't tick a few certain boxes around these uh, regulatory requirements. So speech analytics is a, is a big uh, support in order to reach and fulfill these regulatory requirements. Mm. And, and especially on vulnerable customers, it's a very important area for banks now, and there's a requirement from the regulator to ensure that, that there is a, a high level of engagement for vulnerable customers. And vulnerable um, um, means a whole, uh, there's a whole spectrum um, um, of, of individuals there. Um, our speech analytics, um, have they developed and matured enough to to pick up on vulnerable customers? Um, I mean, as well in your experience. I think what, what we can see with the high accuracy and with the online uh, working solution, it's it's not just easy uh, nowadays, I would say, but it's also most and most used. It was difficult in the past to, for example, listen uh, to hundreds of calls, uh, including vulnerable customers uh, or interaction with vulnerable customers and be able to digest them and analyze them uh, correctly. Mm -hmm. But with such technology, you can virtually listen to each of the calls or each of the conversation. You can automate it and you can spot if there is something wrong uh, immediately. So you can have a repeat, uh, repeated uh, mitigation action or you can implement uh, processes and uh, processes and uh, solutions that will help to improve uh, looking after vulnerable customers uh, going forward. Mm -hmm. This is more and more used. And it does include quality management, for example, when uh, the system will be listening uh, to the communication flow and will pick up what is wrong, what is good, how to look after uh, vulnerable customers. And interestingly, in the past, uh, the focus was on bad behavior, for example, of the agent. But now, nowadays, we see more and more uh, the focus on rather pick up good examples and show them and follow the good examples than to focus on bad examples. Mm. So leading by examples and leading by good examples it seems to be more efficient way uh, to improve uh, the communication flow and the service. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. Um, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much, Martin, Tripti, and Valin, for, for an interesting overview and an understanding. Um, I will circulate the slide deck straight after this presentation um, in PDF format, if that's all right um, with yourselves. Um, I also will socialize the, the, the YouTube videos, which you have, um, importantly, and share some interpretation around the poll questions, the RC audience questions that we asked um, yourselves here today. If you do have any questions that you want to take offline for the presenters, um, they have actually said that they will be happy to accept those. More than happy if you send me a question to Alan um, at the BBA, um, I'll pass those directly on to Martin and his colleagues there. Thank you very much indeed for your time today and have a great day.